it's cooler weather, and we all know what cooler weather calls for. Chili. So, I am. This is how I make my chili. Sometimes I use them little packets, but I'm improvising and gonna do like my own seasonings tonight. The first thing you do is start off by browning you some burger. Whether you use deer burger, beef burger, chicken burger, turkey burger, pork burger, whatever. Ground meat. Alright y'all, now my burger's done. I cooked that in a pan. I should have just cooked it in this pot. But anyway, sit y'all right here and we put the put this together. Honey is chopping up some onion for me because I don't like to do it because it makes me cry. And so I'm going to move my burger over here. Now I've got deer burger, so we don't put a lot of fat in our deer burger just enough so I don't need to drain it. Put it that way. Huh? Yeah, but it cooks out real fast. So, put my burger in here with chopped onion, and we're chopping three onions. If you don't like, go ahead, baby. We like onion. If you don't like onion, don't put onion. If you don't like onion, you're not there. If you like. Little onion, put one onion. All right. So, I'm gonna cook my on. I like to cook the onion a little bit before I start the chili. So we're gonna saute it in here with the meat and get it flavored up. And we're gonna cut some jalapenos that I've frozen from the garden. And we're gonna get them in there. And then we'll move on to the next step. Now we're adding chopped jalapenos. Oh, jalapenos. <laughs> Lots of pelpas. Well, it's sticking to the bottom. Now we're adding a can of tomato puree. Got the uh, 29 ounce can here. Hey! <laughs> what is puree? Like thick. Can y'all see? Yeah. And we'll lean it ducks tomatoes from the garden. That well, look good enough to eat already. I'll tell you what, that's a good deer, too. We add two oh, cans fine. of dark red kidney beans, it don't matter what kind you buy. Heck, this is Dakota's. I've got Van Camps or something, and I got some great value. It's kidney beans, two cans. I like the dark red ones, not the light red ones. Juice and all, juice and all, y'all. Now we're going to add a can of uh, chipotle peppers. We've never done this before. You know how we First cook. Time we'll be improvising. Everything. Probably should have chopped them up. Oh, yeah. smell. Smells good. And I didn't have, I don't have any packs of uh, chili seasoning. So I'm going with my own seasoning tonight. Onion powder. This is it. Onion powder. About that much. Oh, that's 
Oh, they taste it already. Is it bad? Mm, yeah. Mm, you like it? Alright. Got some more on your mouth. Alright. Cayenne pepper. We like it spicy around here. Mm-hmm. Now right, I got some crushed red pepper. Take that off of there. I say a couple tables no, a couple tablespoons of that. I'm gonna do just a little bit of cumin. I've never done this in chili, but I think it's gonna be good. Just about a, about a teaspoon of it. Um Found some chipotle chili pepper in my uh, cabinet. Look, it ain't even been open, y'all. Some chipotle chili pepper. About a teaspoon of that. Super ripping. We'll add some goo, goo creole seasoning. I'll let you add that. About a, a teaspoon of that. I'm going to add our, pit, our favorite hot sauce, the Petro's Lethal Dose. Uh, this stuff's spicy, but it's so good. The flavor is amazing, y'all. We got this at a festival. That's enough. We're going to do one. Let's get it all off that. <laughs> one teaspoon. teaspoon of that. And, uh, oh, and you'll taste that flavor just that much. This we'll add a little, <laughs> little smoked paprika, and uh, we need some garlic powder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Garlic. We like the garlic. Uh huh. And uh, some uh, black pepper, fresh ground pepper. Now one day, I'm going to get one of those fancy grinders where you just hold it and go, and it has that little blue light. If I ever take off, y'all. I need to share my page. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your co-workers. I'm going to put some pink Himalayan salt in here. Same deal with it. Got to grind it in there. That's probably enough. You know what I say about salt? You can always add it, but you can't take it out. Got to add the water. No, I thought you liked it thick. No, I'm not talking about this. Oh. I'm talking about with the salt. Oh yeah, if you put too much salt. All right, and the last uh, thing we got now is some see how the spicy chili powder. Is. Chili powder is the last ingredient. I've already tasted this and it is so tasty. Taste test. You record? Mm -hmm. Nice. Spicy, spicy. I need the chili powder. And that's all I put in my chili. We're going to let this sit here and simmer and let the flavors melt. And then we're going to make a nice bowl. Where the can you see? Focus you. Beep. Uh, That's the bond. All right, y'all. Gotta try it. Got me a little bowl here for a sample. Stir it up real good. Woo! Some good old thick chili. Smelling that chipotle. This is gonna be good, y'all. Got me a grilled cheese going. Let's see how this goes. I don't know about y'all, but I like a little dollop of sour cream on my chili. And I like shredded cheese too, but I'm out. Mama need to make a grocery store run. All right, y'all. Got my little grilled cheese here. I like grilled cheese with my chili. Let's try this out. Y'all. Woo! Hold on. I like it. 
like it. That is good, y'all. I ain't never put no chipotle peppers in it. Plus that new hot sauce we got. I think that does it. The flavor is amazing. So if you don't have any for Trey's hot sauce, you can use any hot sauce. But this has like a smoky flavor. I don't know. But these seasonings I used without hot sauce, this is the best chili I've ever made. Hands down. Y'all gotta give it a shot. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy chili cook off after this. Anyway, thanks for watching Cooking with Lena Duck. I'll see y'all next time. Stay groovy, y'all.